YouTube fam, it's Dr. G here, your favorite board certified pediatrician and fellow mama. And I'm about to drop some food for thought, literally. Imagine your child's brain is like a high class luxury vehicle. Now, what fuel are you putting in that tank? Regular or premium? That's why today I am dishing out the best brain boosting foods to supercharge your child's mind to its best potential. And let's get started. Let's talk about brain foods. These are foods that come loaded with nutrients that have a real positive impact on brain function. For children whose brains are developing at a lightning pace, this is crucial. You're not just filling their bellies, you're giving their brains the tools they need to grow. And let's be honest, y'all can benefit too, so consider this a family upgrade. A smarter, sharper household is just a few bites away. But before we go any further, let's just take a beat. I need to stress that it is essential to check with your child's pediatrician before introducing new foods to their diet. And this is so important, especially if they have allergies or specific health concerns. Smart choices are safe choices. Now that we're clear on that, let's move forward and explore, explore what these brain foods are all about. So these are my top brain foods for kids. Number one, omega-3s, namely DHA and EPA. Picture these as the behind the scenes squad just keeping your child's brain running like a well-oiled machine by building cell membranes and assisting in memory and mood functions. Seafood lovers, rejoice! Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are rich in omega-3s. For our vegans or non-seafood lovers, flax seeds and chia seeds are excellent plant-based omega-3 sources. Berries. Berries are nature's way of just pampering the brain. Blueberries in particular are loaded with antioxidants that shield brain cells from free radical stress. They're also known to enhance memory and are believed to delay cognitive decline thanks to their flavonoids, which also give them their rich color. Next, leafy greens. Leafy greens such as spinach, kale, and broccoli are packed with antioxidants and nutrients such as vitamin K, lutein, folate, and beta carotene that support brain health. Not to mention they are packed with fiber, keeping your whole family's digestive system running smoothly. Next up, avocados. Bring on the avocados. Dr. G loves her some avocados. They are my spirit fruit. These wonders are packed with monosaturated fats, which are like caretakers of brain cells, playing an important role in functioning of nerve cells, which are key for memory and concentration. Next up, pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are small but fierce. They are like the brain's multivitamin, a jack of all trades with antioxidants, magnesium, iron, zinc, and copper. Magnesium is essential for learning and memory. Iron deficiencies have been linked with impaired brain function. Zinc is crucial for nerve sig signaling and copper helps control nerve signals. Boom. Turmeric. This last food is actually a spice that I'm including as a bonus. This vibrant yellow spice isn't just for making curries pop. Shout out to my Jamaican fam. If y'all are watching, drop a Jamaica flag in the comments. Moving right along. Turmeric is packed with a compound called curcumin, a potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory that has been linked to improvements in brain function. And this is a cooking hack. Adding a dash of black pepper when cooking with turmeric actually increases curcumin's absorption in the body. Now that we are 
all brain food connoisseurs, let's get down to the nitty gritty on how to smartly and safely bring these foods into your child's diet. So we need to talk about the safe intake of brain foods. For infants, remember the youngest ones under one years of age, breast milk or formula should still be their primary source of nutrition. Once they start on solid foods, food should be cooked soft and cut into small manageable pieces to avoid choking. For example, blueberries, the brain food we discussed, can be mashed or pureed for babies. And as they grow older and their chewing skills develop, you can offer them as a whole fruit. As your child grows into the toddler years, they can start consuming a wider variety of foods. Yay! However, keep in mind that their paces should still be small to avoid choking. For example, walnuts, another great brain food, can be a choking hazard. For toddlers, you could offer nut butters instead, spread thinly on whole grain bread. The same goes for foods like raw carrots and broccoli. They should be cooked and cut into small bite-sized pieces. Preschool and school age children, they have much more flexibility. As they develop their motor skills and can chew and swallow efficiently, you can start introducing foods in their regular form. However, it's still important to continue to supervise meals and fatty fish, such as salmon and mackerel, are a great source of omega-3s, can be introduced at this point. However, remember that some fish like shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish are high in mercury, which isn't good for developing brains. It's best to limit these in your child's diet. Regardless of age, variety and balance are key. Ensure your child's diet includes a range of different foods for a spectrum of nutrients. With that in mind, let's explore creative ways to bring brain boosting foods to your child's plate. So. It's one thing to know the value of brain foods and quite another to get them on your child's plate. So let's brainstorm together. See what I just did there? Anyway, here are some ideas from breakfast to snack time. Breakfast time. Kickstart the morning with an omega-3 salmon omelet with a hint of turmeric for that extra edge on a weekend morning. If your child loves oatmeal, mix it up with walnuts and blueberries to make it a brainy bowl. For those busy weekday mornings, which a lot of us have, blend a green smoothie with Greek yogurt, spinach or kale, blueberries, and chia seeds. Next up, lunch and dinner. Lunch can be fresh and punchy with a spinach salad and a sprinkle of pumpkin seeds. You can only do, also do a wrap that's both power packed and convenient by adding avocado, lean protein like chicken or turkey or just load it up with lots of veggies. For dinner, you can try dishes that bring in the goodness of fatty fish like salmon, which can be seasoned in so many ways. You can pair that grilled salmon with sauteed broccoli or spinach and boom, you have a brain boosting feast. If fish isn't on the favorites list, whole grain pasta with olive oil, broccoli and a garnish of Parmesan can just be a hit. And let's not forget a dash of turmeric can spice up soups and stews, adding both flavor and brain benefits. Snack time, y'all, can be both tasty and nutritious with pumpkin seeds on their own, mixed into trail mix, or bring it a crunch to, to salads. Avocado slices hit the spot with a dash of sea salt and pepper or a splash of lemon. Yes, desserts. Brain boosting foods can also be a part of dessert. Blueberries make a great sweet treat on their own, or you can toss it with a little honey and lemon zest. You can also use avocados for a nutritious and creamy chocolate pudding. And no, your kids won't taste the avocado. And then for my tips for picky eaters, the key is to get creative. Sometimes mixing a brain boosting food with something they already love can be the golden ticket. Gradually increasing the amount of the new food over time can also be a successful strategy. And don't forget the power of presentation for the little ones. Sometimes just like arranging the food in a fun pattern or shape can make it suddenly interesting to them. It works sometimes. 
All right, amazing parents, that's a wrap on brain boosting foods. Remember, it's all about balance and creativity and making healthy eating an enjoyable experience for the whole family. Keep experimenting, stay positive, and don't hesitate to share your own recipes and experiences in the comments below. We're all in this parenting journey together. And as always, before we sign off, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with other parents, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more nourishing info from Dr. G. Happy cooking. See you later. Bye.